Namaste and welcome back to our channel Qubit Educational Services. <coughs> I am Pranesh. In this video series, we are solving the SR Aptitude Test 2019 Physics MCQs. We have already completed two of them, and in this video, we are going to solve the third one. That is question number 48. This is based on kinetic theory of gases and also the dual nature of matter. Okay, so the statement is neutral gas molecules, each of mass m and uh, at a temperature capital T in a container at zero gravity. Okay, how does the average de Broglie wavelength lambda of a molecule depend on T? Okay, so there are two uh, formulae which we will need. The first one is the de Broglie wavelength lambda that is actually h by p or h upon mass into the speed. Okay, or yeah, velocity, we can say. Now, although they are saying that it is average de Broglie wavelength, okay, we do not have any expression for the velocity average, okay. So we don't have any average velocity expression in terms of temperature, but we basically have the average of the squares, and then you need to take the root. So what we call it? We don't call it average. We call it RMS. Okay, we call it RMS. Okay. So uh, average wavelength, we are now changing it to uh, h upon p, the same formula, but now we are not taking p there, but we are taking, or rather we are not taking mv, v average, we are taking m into v rms. Okay. Now, from let's now go to kinetic theory. What is v rms? V rms is given by root of 3 r t upon m0. Okay, in usual notations, m0 is the molar mass of the gas. Okay, and because uh, in this case r and m0 will be constants, we have to say that vrms is inversely or uh, sorry, directly proportional to root t. Lambda average, okay, which is uh, inversely proportional to vrms which in turn will be inversely proportional to root of t. So what is the correct option? The correct option is c. Lambda inversely proportional to square root of t or directly proportional to 1 over root of t. So that is 48. In the next video we will go to 49.